What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Hope everybody's having an awesome morning, afternoon, even day. Whenever it is that you're watching this video, I hope that it is awesome for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to go over some settings that could change your gameplay experience, hopefully for the better. But before I do, I want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, AEOAH. Guys, check them out for your college ultimate team coins. Use promo code DMGAMING5 for 3% off we'll be having some more uh ultimate team content coming on the channel as well because guys in order to reach a larger audience i gotta dive into some different things it's not gonna take precedence over the current stuff that's going on we still gotta play florida state in the smu rebuild and poindexter we still gotta start earl poindexter story in road to glory so a lot of content coming to the channel guys just be patient with me getting this content out because i don't want to just throw stuff out to be throwing stuff out if that makes sense so some gameplay settings guys one thing that i always talk about with people with this game in any game for that matter that has sliders is that you can literally like the developers give you the tool to sort of create the gameplay experience that you like okay so in settings first and foremost guys leave your ego at home playing on heisman difficulty okay the sweet spot for me that i found is all american now heisman might be your sweet spot you know uh was was before that varsity may be your sweet spot freshman may be your sweet spot it, it's up to you but one thing that i've noticed i've played a couple of games on heisman one thing that I noticed, and it, and it is kind of and this is my personal experience kind of holds true to the same deal with madden playing on all madden is it it, not, it doesn't necessarily make the computer play better it feels it like so it doesn't take as it doesn't take more skill to win if that makes sense it, it's it's almost as if the game makes your team play worse and i remember back in the day when you used to put it on like a heisman or all madden and madden and stuff and go look at the gameplay sliders what the game would do you would see that if you were playing on all madden computer sliders would be all the way 100 but if you look now that's not the case they're still on 50 so you can put it on heisman and then increase this to get even harder difficulty but i don't like the way the game plays on heisman i have had challenging games playing on all american i have games on all american where it's a complete blowout so you know and there are going to be blowout games so first and foremost find the skill level that goes well for you all right nothing else on this screen is going to help aside from your passing type i personally like the rebound pass me passing it's it's great i love it it's good um as far as slowing down the pass if it's too fast for you you guys you do have the option to slow it down you can put it on slight you can put it on moderate or you can put it on max to slow it down to fit your play style don't let somebody tell you oh you're not a good gamer or oh you're not a gamer oh you suck at the game because you have to use things like passing slow down or, or you know things like that don't do that don't do that to people. Don't make people feel that way. You play your game how you want to play it. They give you these tools to use for a reason. And then you also have your pass lead increase, which I put this on none because you already with the revamp passing, you can lead them pretty, pretty good. You know, I think if you were to say put it on large, it tells you they're extend the maximum amount of pass lead when precision passing in all pass types except placement okay except placement when using placement this increases the amount of free form pass lead placement is more kind of like the passing mechanic that you have in madden right now me personally i keep this at none because with revamp passing it tells you the classic passing controls that give more control of the arc of the pass with the ability to perfectly throw passes based on ratings and pass context the player can take some power off their throw to make more accurate passes so I like to leave this on, you know, and, and I run the beer and shoot. And when I do all goes, I'm able to really lead my receiver, put those arcs on the ball. So I don't mess with that. And then reticle speed is set to seven. I don't personally mess with that. You can adjust it if you want to. It just chooses the speed at which the placement reticle moves. OK, uh, reticle visibility user only. That doesn't affect anything. So now these the gameplay helpers. OK, first of all. 
little less thing auto flip defense it's default set to on so is defensive ball hawk and what defensive ball hawk does user controlled defenders will auto move into position to play a catch when executing the catch mechanic while the ball is in the air warning disabling this mechanic may cause user defenders to attack the ball in the air less aggressively by default this setting is already on i just leave it on and it just helps you whenever the ball is in the air computer <laughs> i tell you what on all american if you make a bad pass computer is going to intercept it 98 percent of the time like i've rarely seen them actually drop an interception so the pass game on All-American is plenty challenging. Now, this is the one that is the most interesting to me, and I think it could help a lot of you guys out because, guys, let's be real. One thing that is I do see an issue with is the pursuit angles, which at first I didn't. And I did a live stream and I played the game and I was like, well, it's, it's almost as if the players take the right angle at first. And then once they get close to the ball carrier, they get flat rather than staying on the angle that they would be at to catch the computer opponent now this is only with the ai as it doesn't do this with a user um with a user control player but defensive heat seek by default is off and what it does is user controlled defenders are steered toward the ball carrier when attempting to run or dive into them so y'all remember in madden and i think this is owned by default in madden but in madden this is what I was telling y'all why the tackling is different and why a lot of people suck at defense in this game because they were, and even myself when I first played, I was so used to the way the tackling was in Madden. You get close to the player, you push the dive button, they dive into him, they wrap up, they tackle him. I never used the X button to make a tackle in Madden. In this game, I used the X button. Also in Madden, I learned to use the L2 button on PlayStation, which, make, which makes your player square up to the defender. And so even now, you see in my settings, this is off, Okay. I leave it off because I know how to make tackles in the game now. Now, I still miss some from time to time. But if you're having trouble making tackles in the game, guys, just turn it on. Just turn it on. Who cares? Okay? And then you also have D defensive heat seeker window size. It modifies the left stick window size for defense defensive heat seeker assist. And so you can increase this window up to 200%. And if it's set at 200%, guys... Basically, if you dive, they're going to magnetize to the running back. Does that make sense? Or the receiver, whoever has the ball. The, this will help you play tackle better on defense because one thing is we miss tackles like crazy. But I'm going to put that back at 100% and I'm going to turn that back off because I like it off. It's good. Now, you also have defensive switch assist and it's by default is off. When a user switches players to another defender, User movement will be assisted to prevent them from taking their new player out of the play. I like to have this on because one thing, and, and it's been off, I, you know, I'll leave it off, but I like to have it on sometimes. The reason why, guys, is because I hate how whenever you switch to a player, if I'm on the defensive line and I switch to another player, I'm still doing my defensive line controls, and then all of a sudden, the player I click on is out of position. It's happened before, and it is quite annoying. And if you're having that issue, turn on defensive switch assist. Guys, nobody cares if you're using that. If somebody's downing you for using it, man, tell them go argue with their mama. Like, have fun playing your game. Controlled play art isn't anything. It just shows you where you're supposed to be. And then <laughs> for the guy in my comment section that keep asking about coach mode, Coach mode is in the game, young man. You go and turn this on. When set to on, the quarterback will automatically throw the ball if you do not take control of the snap. Okay. Now, this is the interesting one right here. Player sliders. You have your injuries. You have your fatigue. And then this is very interesting. Player speed partiality scale. Now, this may seem similar to player threshold speed, but when you read it, it says increase or decrease the minimum in-game speed for players. A lower number creates a greater separation between the fastest and the slowest players, which I had this at 50. Guys, I love always putting this at zero because I always the fast players need to be fast the slow players need to be slow the higher number it is that means that means if you got a running back running 99 speed 99 acceleration if it's set at 50 which is default he can get caught from a defensive end who's behind him running 85 like you know what i'm saying no 
I always like putting that at zero. And it's weird that they name it player speed partiality scale because when you're in the actual dynasty mode or whatever, it's called player speed threshold. It's the same thing. Okay. And then when you go over to player skills, guys, this is important. Now you can adjust your sliders for your team to play better. Everybody knows this. Use them, have fun with them. It's your game. It's your experience. Now, I've experimented with a lot of these. And one thing I will tell you, pass blocking is atrocious if you have a terrible line. I've experimented with that and run blocking in which I have turned, where is pass blocking? I've turned pass blocking all the way up on all American. And guys, let me tell you this, okay? Your line, it, do, it makes them block slightly better. It doesn't make it to where you can sit back in the pocket for 30 hours and just throw it up when you're ready. No, 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 no. I was still getting pressured. I was still getting sacked. Ratings still matter. But what I did notice by turning pass block up all the way to 100 is that I, I, I didn't get sacked as much, but it still happened. Like I had a, okay, let's say for example, I, I generally had four seconds in the pocket on all American. Turning it up to 100 probably gives you five and a half seconds, if that makes sense. It, if, if the defense brings pressure, and you don't have the right blocking scheme, you're still going to take a sack. So don't think by putting this up, you know, it's going to make it to where you can just sit back in the pocket and throw the ball all day. No, it does not do that on the All-American level. I can't speak for the other difficulty levels, but on All-American, it doesn't do that. What it does allow you to do is be able to have just a tad bit better pass blocking. And run blocking works the same way. You're not breaking all. I put it up at 100, guys. I tried this stuff out. You're not going to be breaking 100 yard games. You're not going to be breaking every single run that you do in the game. Even me, I ran it in the very shoot where they're spread out like crazy. It, no, they the, it makes them block a little bit better. But at the end of the day, it's not overpowered. It's not like it is if you were to do this in Madden or previous college football games where you could just, you know, you're breaking every run for a touchdown because the run blocking is so good. OK, so play with these sliders. You even have some for defense reaction time, which, guys, this setting right here will help with your pursuit angles. The slider are just reaction time in pass coverage. OK, in pass coverage, to me, the secondary has good reaction time already, but I have to digress. You also have one for interceptions and you also have one for pass coverage. The slider are just how effective pass coverage is. Computer. <laughs> Guys, they have, I play on All-American. I don't know how, I've never played the game on Varsity. I went straight to All-American. Pass coverage, it, it, you got to you gotta know what you're doing in the pass game. I'll just put it like that, you know. And then rush defense, if you feel like they're breaking too many tackles, just raise this up, guys. Raise it up. It's there for you to use. And then you even have some for special teams. And then you can also tweak computers a little bit more. Like if they're getting too many interceptions, just lower their interception percentage or lower their reaction time um, on, on pass defense. Now, this is pass defense. Only thing you can lower on rushing defense is their tackling. Okay. So utilize these things, guys, to help make your gameplay experience better. Like, you know have fun with the game it's your game you paid your money for it now understand this sliders this is more for when you're playing by yourself against computer if you're playing against another human opponent these don't really factor in as much the player will benefit from the same ones that you adjust for the player heat seeker and things like that so guys let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below does this help you you know, and, and, and if you are struggling and you haven't utilized the sliders, take some time to go into practice mode and adjust these sliders to your locking to create the best gameplay experience for you. Guys, that's all I got for right now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Don't be a point dexter. Get out the portal. Become a five-star member. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.